I'm Daryl Scheinman and I have a record label called Gearbox Records, which is vinyl led. We started it in 2009 as a specialist jazz label. The whole idea and philosophy behind the label is a curation of, of archive material, stuff that has never been released before. These things were recorded as usually live sessions and then tucked away in places like the British Library vault. And to find out about them takes a lot of research. The library is critical really because without it I wouldn't know where to start in terms of research. There's a lot of listening and testing the, the sound quality of it and then we have to check that it hasn't been released before. So there's a lot of elements, many of which we use research from the British Library. But the business wouldn't have started without the library, full stop. In fact, there was a point where I joked with the creator that helped me a lot at the beginning, I was to call it Curator Records. Why? Because that's exactly what we're doing. We're curating work. We're almost an adjunct to the library's function. There's actually vinyl records here as well, which one can get a sense of the artwork that was done in the period. So there's so much more than I ever thought there would be. The amount is staggering, and in my lifetime I won't get through it. <laughs> Once we've licensed and cleared something and released it and finished the production, all of our releases come back to the British Library. So it would be good actually to encourage other labels to get involved and bring their own material back into the library. We need to create and build on a national sound archive. It brings archive material to the general public. The service that the British Library provide is to allow access to material that would not otherwise be obtainable. Mm -hmm.